Thousands turned up for that Glazers out protest before the game. Well done to every single United fan who was part of that. It was fantastic, as was the result there between United and Norwich. But that's about it. Ronaldo with an incredible hat-trick. His 60th career hat-trick. His 50th club hat-trick. Ronaldo single-handedly. Well, De Gea made a few decent saves as well. But that man there, absolutely incredible hat-trick today. Sort of shining lights in recent games. His hat-trick against Spurs there. His hat-trick against Norwich. And somehow, somehow, because Arsenal and Spurs are equally as capable of bottling. Both of them lost today against Brighton and against Southampton. Manchester United there with three points against Norwich. Somehow, we're still in a hunt for a top four spot. I think we are. We are. And I don't really know how. I swear to God, I do not understand how. Because apart from that man and apart from De Gea's fingertips stopping us going 3-2 down, that, just that squad there. I swear, I, I've said this to you before. Genuinely, there are so few players inside that squad that I would get into an argument over to support. That whole back four was just an absolute abomination today. An absolute humiliation for United. Delo, Lindelof, Maguire. What was it Alanga? Did he finish up at right back? I have no idea. Tellez. Delot, Maguire, what are you doing, bro? What? I swear to God, is Maguire actually actively trying to be shit now? Booting Paul Popper in the head. Calling Nemanja Matic out for handballing it the other week. Headbutting Ronaldo a few weeks before. Maguire is just, it's a circus. It's an absolute, our defense is an utter circus. I'll tell you what was a circus. That's starting 11 today. You have Popper as a defensive midfielder. You had Jesse Lingard starting, despite the fact that he's leaving. You've got Garnacho and Hannibal on the bench. I understand Ralph Randnick's idea and logic. And I, it's actually just one I do stand by. The idea that you don't want to throw ki kids in, but I'm so done with this squad, man. I'm so done with these players. I personally thought it was a bit harsh, uh, the boos and the chance to fuck off Popper when he got taken off. What you're looking at is the end of a three-year frustration from United fans. It's just boiled over. They just don't give a fuck anymore to, to not say those sorts of things. You know what I mean? Like The protest there went on before the game against the club's owners. Fucking 17 years, they've been stealing money from our club and just bleeding the club dry. But these players, I swear, they've been bleeding this club dry for a few years, man. And I'm just so done with it. I'm so done with so many of them. I'm not isolating Paul Popper in this situation. I'd be more than happy if Harry Maguire was sold this summer. I just don't think he will be. Popper's leaving. Lingard's leaving. Matter's leaving. Grant is leaving. Matic is leaving. That's five. There's probably more. Phil Jones, you can join. Anthony Martial, come on as well. But just so many of those players. It's just, if it's just, I'm done. I'm finished. Zef, Zef, fin go. Vamos. Leave. I don't care. I really, really do not care anymore. And as I said, apart from this man there, we're probably losing against Norwich today. Bottom of the league, Norwich. 2-0 up. First goal, great pressure from Anthony Alanga. Really set the tone with sort of his pace and intensity. Won the ball back. Squares it. Who's there? Cristiano Ronaldo. Bang. 1-0. United in control from that point on. Norwich made it. Drew a couple of saves from De Gea. But Norwich, they played like they were bottom of the league. And lo and behold, they are bottom of the league. Didn't threaten us at all. And then, Tedders whips in a corner. Ronaldo, he jumps up. Boom. 2-0. Cristiano Ronaldo, two goals. Totally, totally, totally comfortable. But then, wow. That defense, as I said, come on in. I'm not going to mark anybody at the back post. Eh, I'm Harry Maguire. I'll run out of position as well. Do what you want. Just at the back. Boom. There you go. 2-1. Norwich back in the game before halftime. And they did not deserve that whatsoever. Completely changing the feeling going into the half-time break when we should have been game, set, and match. Done, done, done. What happens at the start of the second half? You didn't have to script it. You knew it was going to happen. Pookie got played through. He was onside. Boom. 2-2. Two, two. In off the post. Old Trafford now is angry. I've seen it before. Time and time again, these players, this whole squad is capable of moments, of capable of... Ah, oh, brilliant. There you go. Good football. Well done. But then as soon as, like, Something happens against us. It's just like all the shoulders drop. The attitude's just not there. The players, they don't really know what to do at that point. And it's very, very strange, very odd. And it repeats itself again and again and again. And it nearly repeated itself today. And it would have repeated itself today if it wasn't for that man. And Tim Krul not saving his free kick. He got two hands to it. 
He definitely should have saved that. Bit weird. But Cristiano Ronaldo, as I said, with his 60th career hat trick. And I just can't help but coming away from that game just kind of pissed off, man. It's just weird. I should be happy. It's three points. It's Norwich. Because of how bad Arsenal and Spurs are, uh, are doing right now, well, with that game anyway from, from Spurs, top four still on. <laughs> Until we play Liverpool on Tuesday night. I'm really, 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 really not looking forward to that game. That sort of performance there, that sort of game management, lack of. I don't even think that Cristiano Ronaldo can single-handedly go to Anfield and make us get three points there. I'd love it to happen. Oh, my God, I'd love it to happen. Just to put a thorn in Liverpool's title chase to get three points, then go to Arsenal. I just don't think it's going to happen. And I'm just not surprised anymore by the lack of commitment from these players. I said it in my match reaction to the Everton game. I was like, it's past the point of getting angry now as a United fan. There's just a, it's just an acceptance of like, I'm not surprised every single week by everything that all these players do. It was odd. The starting 11 was odd there. Yeah, but just this whole squad is odd. And this, as I said, there's so few players that I would argue to defend. Seriously. I wouldn't be upset if 90% plus of this squad past the end of the season never kicked a ball in a Manchester United shirt again. So disconnected with so many of them. And as I said, I feel a little bit sorry for Paul Pobber in the fact that he was uh, isolated in that incident with the fans booing. I'll tell you what, I wonder if this is going to be the same reaction to when Harry Maguire was booed by some England fans and it seemed like, I don't know, it was crazy the reaction to that. Massive overreaction. As I said, Paul Pogba, I feel a bit sorry for him being scapegoated in that situation because it could have been applied to so many of the other players. But it comes down to the expectations, I believe, that we had on Paul Pogba when he came back. But that's a different conversation altogether. But yeah, as I said, it feels really, this really odd feeling after this game. As I, I should be just happy, ecstatic. Both of our rivals around us have dropped points in that top four race. But going into this game, I was like, man, the season's done. That I felt that the protests were far more important and far more significant. And as I will reiterate what I said at the start of the video, well done to everyone who turned up there today. Nobody knew what the scale was going to be. Very peacefully done. Sent the message. And I hope that more of those types of protests can continue and go on. And that maybe there won't be like another like two, three, four, five, six, whatever the month gap between the protests. The more that we can do on a, on a smaller scale like that, 10 protests like that might have more of an impact than one big one, if you know what I mean. Different ways of approaching it. Do you think we're going to get top four? I think it's a possibility, but maybe come uh, Tuesday at 10 p.m., I'm very much going to have a different tone. It's all going to be on that game, I suppose. And yeah, as I said, if you're looking at that game against Liverpool and you're looking at that team that played there and they played like they did there, Liverpool are going to run riot. Absolutely smacking. Uh, City at Wembley at the moment. I don't know whether the, the, the game's changed. It might have done since I was doing my match reaction, but the season just needs to come. The season needs to end, sorry. The end of the season needs to come. Get this Ten Hag announcement done. Wicked. Let's move forward. Let's start again excited. I still stand by the fact that Ralph Radnick was the right appointment because of what comes after. He wasn't the right appointment because of a manager. He was like, as I said, he was the worst candidate in the world to come in if you're just solely focusing on the interim basis. He hadn't managed a football team in like two plus years. But any manager would have struggled in this environment. I swear to God, they're all self-entitled bastards. They really are. You see it in how they play. And their lack of professionalism and ability to just see a game out is staggering. Absolutely staggering. And as I said, if it wasn't for that man there today, there would be a very, very different hostile tone and feeling to the end of that game. But there isn't. Because Cristiano Ronaldo scored a hat-trick. His second hat-trick for United this season. His third hat-trick in a United shirt. First against Newcastle all those years ago. This season against Spurs to keep us in that top four hunt. And there today, he's propping us up again. Ronaldo might not be the striker that we need moving forward overall. Especially if we go towards his Ten Hag style of play. But 21 goals. Third in the Premier League. Golden boot race now. Ronaldo, the greatest of all time. We're lucky to have him. I'll tell you what. We're not lucky to have the majority of that squad. And if we're talking about Glazers out, I think 90% of these players can get out as well, as far as I'm concerned anyway. You let me know what you think, though, in the comments below, as you always do.